Hey everybody, Jay Barino here and welcome back. It's the Tides of Darkness remake in Warcraft 3. We are on to the finale. This is the last mission of Tides of Darkness. This is created by Lord Paranold II. The Fall of Lordaeron. Last mission, the end did tilt me a bit. Again, it was just a lot of hunting down boats and stuff like that. This time, maybe let's try and be a little more proactive and get a navy out. Though I don't remember the layout of this map. I think we get two bases. I remember that. But other than that, I'm not super sure. Send me in. The alabaster parapets of Lordaeron's capital loom before you in the distance. The proud, defiant armies of the Alliance stand resolute in their final, fleeting moments. All that remains is the shrill, clarion call to battle and the fulfillment of our destiny. The tides of darkness are now at hand. That's the name of the thing! The remnants of the Alliance, together with the Azeroth refugees, are entrenched in the peninsula ahead. The Horde is stretched out to the limit across multiple fronts in the Northern Territories. If we fail in taking Lordaeron, we might as well lose the entire war. It's up to you to choose which clan you wish to lead in the final battle, with the exception of the dead traitors and the Dragon Maw. Say the word. Okay. You know, Shadow Moon would... Is, it's not Shadow Moon. Who's the... Whoever Blue was... Um, I really liked them, but again, they're all dead now, so we can't use them. I think I would have considered picking them. Blacktooth Grin, my beloved. Uh, Bleeding Hollow is right out, let me tell you that. Burning Blade, very damage-focused. I think the... the grunt... the grunt mechanic is difficult to deal with early on, but eventually we just tech out of them and never make them again. Black Rock, we only played one mission with... Um, I gotta say, I really like the Blacktooth Grin Clan, so I'm leaning towards them. If I followed my own advice from the end of the human campaign, I should play as Blackrock, because they're like the Warcraft 2 faction. And therefore, they should be the ones to close this out. Um, I do like that they have a reduction in magic damage taken. I do like how they can make towers that can shoot air, because that's going to be important on this map. I'm certain of it. Um, Blacktooth Grin has the better towers, but they don't have an anti-air static defense placement. So I'm thinking, if we do go bleeding Blacktooth Grin, we have to make spear throwers and just leave them in the base. Um, I am leaning towards Blacktooth Grin, though. I like the sustainability of the ogres. Um, this layout, I do think that there's a base we have to set up on the right. Um, but then I don't know if we can connect these two, nor do I know if and where there's oil or water at all on this map. So we'll have to figure that out, and we'll need defenses at both places as well. Um, I, I just really enjoyed the Blacktooth Grin Clan, so I'm going to go with them. Okay, cool. Fine, let's do that first. And then hop on gold there. What's going on over here? We do have peons, and there is a gold mine right there. I'm sorry, sheep. I apologize, but it had to be done. Okay, and then let's get a lumber mill. There is fine. And then now we can start getting things saturated. Never mind, now we need more gold. Start scouting out all around our area. I see a coastline there. Let's check out up here. This seems like it might be our only entrance unless we can be gotten to by the bottom right. But again, I think we want to look around first and foremost. Not too far. We don't want to accidentally drag enemy units into us too early. That would be a big mistake. Okay. Get this gold saturated. Oh, gosh, I thought those were enemies. Okay, so this is the only way they can get to us. I'm going to have to assume dragons will be coming at some point as well. So let's get gold saturated first and foremost, and then uh, we'll figure out where we need more towers, where we need spear throwers. Uh, we want to get upgrades as soon as possible as well, so we're going to want to get um, a stronghold for sure. Probably going to need a barracks in both locations. But for now, let's just get more peons on gold and then get a few extra on lumber. I'm going to go ahead and get a barracks here. 
And I think we need to scout more around this base. I'm a little, I again, I'm, I feel like I'm sort of in the middle of nowhere out here, so I, I'm a little hesitant to just send units out. Okay, more peons on lumber there. Barracks is coming up. We're going to need a barracks down here too. Let's get one more peon. Okay, let's get a barracks here. The fact that this tower is here makes me think we're going to face dragons from that direction. Not being able to build static defense just means, again, we're going to need more dudes on um, with ranged options anyway. So, Okay, we're going to go stronghold straight away. And I need a blacksmith. Sooner we do that, the better. Second barracks coming up, and I think we want to start upgrading ranged options because I'm expecting air units early. Okay, I think we're fully saturated on stuff. We can get more lumber income over here if necessary. Okay, we need an ogre mound, so let's get that going pretty much right away. You know what? Get a goblin alchemist first. The faster we can tech, I think the better this is going to go. I don't want to overbuild workers at this stage either. I think we just need to stockpile enough lumber that we can blast up to tier 3 so that we get the gold bonus. This guy, I, it looks like he actually made a full round like of walking around our base. Let's just kind of send him out there to look. Hand of Mame for feedback. That'll be good against the Lorder and Knights, right? Okay, Ogre Mound is done. Go Fortress straight away, and then with our next, yeah, batch of lumber, let's get a Zeppelin, and then maybe consider a, a shipyard somewhere once we find gold. Okay, what's our next tech structure that we need? We're going to get upgrades. I'm going to quick save. Again, I haven't really made many or any units. Okay, you start just flying around here. Just give me vision of what's going on. He's probably going to die, but that's, you know, I guess acceptable. Fortress coming up so we can start getting Ogre Tinkers. That's going to be our main jam, I think. I'm just going to get a few more Spear Throwers to leave over here. You don't need many Spear Throwers to kill dragons, I don't think. Special Armor sounds good. I found some... I found some oil. Something so let's not mess around. Let's actually just go ahead and get this set up. We do need that Temple of the Damned, but not right away. Okay, that's good. Okay, seems like things are starting to happen. Start getting some more ogres. I think we we're going to want to get another... Uh, ...tower soon as well. Definitely ogre tinker training. Just get all these upgrades now, I think. I'll get Hand of Mame, not super necessary, and we can also get Defend, I suppose. Okay, there's dragons. The thing is, they're pretty fragile, so like we don't need many range units to kill them. So I think we're all good. Okay, this is done. We got to get oil tankers going as soon as possible so that we can defend ourselves. Please tell me you can build it. Okay, good. Okay, and then how about this? I will get advanced barricades, again, just so that we have it. Okay, it seems like we found a pretty key enemy base here. Master. Okay, there's griffins. Alright, let's go ahead and start getting some additional spear throwers. Plenty of resources available here. And what's the hotkey here? Healing salve. Okay, good, good, good. 
Start making tinkers. We're going to need more farms as well. Lumber is going to be... Seems like it's going to be in a bit, bit of short supply. I might just go ahead and get another lumber mill so that this can return a little bit faster over here. Once we have enough lumber to do it. I'm going to get another Zeppelin. I don't really care about the landmines, if only because I feel like I'm going to end up killing a bunch of my own stuff. Split these dudes up a little bit. I think I have pretty much every upgrade available to me, minus the uh, our spellcasters. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a bunch of tinkers and start moving out. Try and um, cover this middle location. I see a bridge there. I see not a bridge there. I don't understand that. I will get the sharpened tusks. If I don't get it now, I don't think I'll convince myself to get it later. Okay, good stuff. And then we can heal out of combat again, which is very key. Oh, I think they can self... Yeah, they can self-cast that heal, too. That's excellent. If that could go on auto-cast, that would probably be a little too good, huh? Okay, I'm going to start getting some gunboats and get some upgrades for them. But we do have oil income now. Again, just so that we're ha we'll have a small navy for later. But for now, I really just want to build a large force of mostly... Tinkerers. My gold income is good, so let's go ahead and focus on getting some burrows. That's not what they're called in this game, but you understand what I mean. I think these guys are good enough to kill dragons. Again, I guess it just depends on which direction they come from. Yeah, it's like I don't even need this many dudes on. There we go. Get one more oil tanker. Yep, okay, there they are. So they, yeah, I I assumed that they would be coming from these directions. They, you can't upgrade the armor of these things. What I can do, at least, is build a tower up here, which is a pricey investment, but by doing so, the dragon will stop and attack that. And they do chaos damage, not piercing, so defend won't really be that useful against them, I think. Let's get a turtle as well. What you got? What's going on over here? You got it. Okay, I got a nice size force there. Got a pretty nice size force over here as well. Um, what I want to do is basically move across this middle section, kill anything that's there, yes. and then we can connect to our main base, which seems like it's up in that direction. Ooh, that uh, that AOE is is rough. Okay, but we are healing. You love to see it. I'm gonna keep making tinkers. You got it. Ah, yeah, perfect. Okay, this is exactly what needed to happen. So we have what is essentially static defense. That can't shoot the... It can't shoot them, but that's fine. Let's get some additional spear throwers, and then... I want to take this group. Get these dudes on top of the catapult. Sorry, catapult. Oh, wait, Dal Dalrend, whatever. Get him. Oh, that's right. I can make the, the, the turtles. Okay, we really need that. Let's get both our remaining ship upgrades. And then let's go ahead and get our goblin alchemist. Keep harvesting trees. I'm going to move up in this direction. Wait, we were ready for this? We probably have a, a nice... Upgrade advantage over them, too. They have a casual ability to scout. To, to scan. They must have a mage tower that can do that or something. Alright, that's fine. What's going on over here? Please tell me I can attack this boat. It's looking like, like I cannot attack that boat. 
So just avoid it. We'll get our own boats up there momentarily. Go ahead and set sail. I'm going to keep making ogre tinkers. What do you want? Don't rush me. Want to blow something up? And who needs you heals? All of you. Right I'm going to quick save and just attack across this bridge. I'd like to see what happens. So, um, go ahead. That's why I just saved. Okay, good stuff. Where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> I I don't know. In either case, we're uh, we're pretty well linked up. So we do need to leave some stuff at home, but then we send the rest to attack. What what about like this side of the just kind of attack towards that blue area and see where we end up? I think we're pretty safe from these uh, from these attacks. There's just a bunch of pre-placed stuff, so we're definitely gonna have to kill this. Well, okay, we found a little base. This is good. This is good. Come on over here. Continue to attack in this direction, and I'm thinking we're gonna want to start building catapults now. Cool, and we're in. Just keep healing. Oh yeah, and I have the flare guns. We can just scout the whole map this way. Okay, that's fine. That's acceptable. So there's a base here and a base here and an extra gold mine here that I could take, which we should probably do. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We want we want the the giant turtle Genbu's things. Because at my understanding, it seems like those can be in the water and on land, so that's pretty versatile for us. Um, I see a, an attack wave coming in. The question is, do we have enough to kill it? I'm gonna go ahead and get some additional towers that can cover each other. That's just gonna happen pretty much all game, I think. So we just gotta gotta keep pushing back against it. Give me a lumber mill over here. And a lumber mill down here. Yes. And let's get some trees going over in this direction. Okay, next step, we gotta go for this middle base. I'd like to go for the middle base, please. I'm trying to get an idea of where everything is. Oh yeah, Genbu, and then the Devour. Don't forget the Devour. And they, I think they get the Sharpened Tusks as well. No, but they get the Spiked Shell. Okay, this middle base I think is where the dragons are coming from, but I also saw a lot of mages, so we have to be extra, extra careful. Because that could be a disaster. Genbu, run. The Sea Turtle can't do anything, but... This is actually really good. We can keep their navy, or not not their navy, but we can keep their attacks stuck on this bridge. Get back here, you coward. Well, I think we're going to end up chasing this thing quite a bit. Never mind, we're good. I wonder what they have again that allows them to just scout like that. Okay, let's go ahead and hotkey these barracks. We're going to build forward bases pretty soon here. I think uh, some grunts with that Hand of Maim will be pretty good. I didn't even have to look at this attack because we have enough ogres, but again, I'm very concerned about AoE moving forward. Let's get a... N oh, we already have a Zeppelin. All right, look around this little island here. Anywhere there's fog of war, please look so that I can check to see if there's anything else we need to go out of our way to kill. Okay, and as long as we have enough range units to kill these dragons. 
And that dragon did not come from the direction I expected, so maybe that's not... Not correct. I don't know. Okay, oh, we can make the giant turtles out of there, too. That's good. Lumber, please. Just get a second one of these, just in case something happens. And then I'm going to start moving some workers up. Guess we'll take this middle base first. There's trees up here, too. Okay, here we go. I basically want to send... I was going to say send a relatively small group in and bait those... Bait those attacks. Bait those AoE attacks. Gotta kill the wizards. Y you gotta kill the wizard. Perfect. Okay, now follow up. Oh my gosh. You gotta, you gotta focus fire the wizards, though. You gotta kill the wizards, though. Okay. The wizards are dead. Let's go for their mage tower. And if... I don't know if blue has more production somewhere, but we'll worry about that later. I see that dude right there. I think two catapults can kill that properly. We're being attacked. Yes. I actually think... Yeah, I was going to say, this thing's going to be distracted killing my catapults, so this should work. What you want? Time. What you want? Keep it up. We lost a lot there. We really lost a lot there, but I think I think it's sort of a it was a necessary thing to have happen. Okay, it looks like Gray has diverted to attack over here. That's okay actually cuz we could take a group of these dudes. Part of the issue is they can get to us from a number of ways. There, there, and maybe over there too. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I can get a navy down there. They're destroying our city. I'm all geared up. It's gonna take that thing a while to, to kill that. I think we basically just need to build stuff at each entrance and stop them from getting to us. Just queue up a bunch of units. And then where do I have idle peons? You can stay here. That's fine. Okay. I was going to say, did we kill these dudes or what's going on? Let me tell you something. We got plenty of money. We're going to go ahead and just start doing something like that. Don't worry. We have Genbu coming. They're going to roast this stuff. Maybe? How do they do against the battleships? I think pretty good. I think pretty good, and then what I'm going to do is build two barracks up here and a goblin alchemist. And then we want to get our upgrades for our spellcasters, even though I don't think I'm going to necessarily build them. The, the range on them is very prohibitive. The, low, the, the short range on them is very prohibitive. Okay, let's scout up here and see if there's another. there is another bridge there. We basically have to pick a direction and try and start pushing into gray. And this is going to be our new, our new defensive area. Cool. This guy was building stuff. It seems like... Oh, I've been supply blocked for like this whole time. This is a thing where it's just like, just build a ton of towers. It certainly can't hurt as long as we get our lumber income going. Like, just don't get sloppy. Lumber income is going to be coming in there eventually. And I'm going to quick save and let's flare across this bridge and see what we have to do still. And at this point, I think it just seems like all I need are more burrows, and that's it. How's gold coming in here? Pretty good. Again, my gold income has popped off, so let's um, 
Let's get an oil refinery over here and then get another shipyard as well. Somewhere where he can build it and won't get stuck. That seems all good. Okay, let's bring these fellas up and then I'm going to just blast across this direction and see... Oh, good. We finally shot down there. Gotta move these dudes up. Oh god, catapults. Our worst enemies is ranged units. Seems like there's still pre-placed blue units. Okay, my mind is already moving into cleanup mode, but let's just remember that we have to stay focused. Exorcism, I think, actually dispels my healing. Maybe? Maybe? Did it? Did that just dispel my healing? I'm not so sure. I'll shake that right up. Just trying to get vision on where their buildings are. Like, we're in their base at this point, for sure. Okay, good, good. I like this idea, like, we purposefully attack with a relatively small force to eat any major AoE that they have. I would love to find where they're... Um... Oh, we found some buildings. Alright, this is big. I don't know what I was going to say. Start making battleships, rally them up here, because we got to start sending boats all around. Get some oil tankers over here. I haven't been using Genbu as much as I think I should. Once again, they, it's like when I queue up buildings, my dudes just... They just don't do it sometimes. Okay. Hard to envision a situation where we lose now, but you never know. So let's just stay focused. And make it happen. We're in Gray's base one way or another. We may have bypassed the main way to get into it. We've actually messed up the way that they attack in many ways, it seems like. And you know what? Just, um, you just rally here. Where the heck is my Goblin Alchemist? How does it never actually get built? This is the third time. Okay, he's actually creating it. Good work. Yeah, it's like I, I queued him to go back onto the gold mine there, and did you notice he just didn't he didn't finish? He just didn't finish. I mean, we're in there. I didn't really have to look. Lordaeron is the least scary of the human factions, in my opinion. Okay, run on over there. Take those out. I don't think I need another gold mine, but I have two available, two e too easily available to me if necessary. I'm gonna start going Genbu now. I think it's about that time. Just keep pushing. This was a nice. I mean, this was a nice situation where all we did we just built a ton, ton, ton of uh, of units and we macroed our way to victory. Let's get rid of this castle. Which might shut them down. It seems like it's done that in previous missions. And then we can get rid of this Griffin Aviary. No more air units. There haven't been any dragons, so I'm pretty sure blue is gone. What I'm going to do down here is make a fleet of juggernauts. Lumber, huh? Okay, you. It's lumber time. You guys, it's lumber time. It's lumber time, and it's lumber time. We'll get a, we'll get a collector right there. You know what I mean when I say collector, okay? Don't speak to me about it. Okay, we have to kill everything, so just keep, keep pushing in various directions, and then let's continue to scout all along the edges. Okay, so there's random blue stuff. We're going to have to kill all of that. Oh, oh gosh, Genbu. <laughs> what a waste. Okay, let's have these guys, just have this group just go across the bridge. Okay, there's probably like a line of defenses along the outskirts. There's some infrastructure there we're going to have to go and kill. That's why we're making boats. 
We got those gunboats, and then we have a nice fleet here. I'm going to go ahead and start floating these all the way up here because I see some stuff. And I assume, again, if they have a navy, we're going to have to kill it. Oh, I, I, I was going to hit defend. I just saw it a little too late, okay? Yes, feedback! It didn't seem like it was doing that much feedback, but that's okay. You got it. Okay, then you guys start floating your way up here. I'm trying to be super efficient on the cleanup front. I don't even think we've been playing this mission that long. Yeah, 30 minutes. Look at that. Maybe I'm actually good at the game now. What happened? <laughs> okay, everybody converge on this little section. Okay, we've, we've got some boats. I don't have a Zeppelin here, so we need to make a giant turtle. And we're just going to sit there and wait, because otherwise I'm going to forget. I didn't know that the giant turtles could attack structures. Is this... This must be a change to this, or maybe I'm just misremembering. Nice job, nice job. Okay, let's get up here so that we can kill that one, and then we're probably going to just need more battleships. Juggernauts, excuse me. How can we not see it? Oh, okay, we can. Never mind, we're good. Okay. So here we go. That That's an invisible wall. So we're looking for just pre-placed stuff. There's some blue stuff over on the right that we're going to have to kill. That shipyard is gone. I hope invisible units don't count. Okay. Oh yeah, they don't have the, they won't have the ability to see my stuff anymore. So actually just making subs is going to be pretty good. Uh, just make some zeppelins, please. We just need to start looking all around the map. Turtle, go up the left side. Weren't there blue... There were blue dudes over here, weren't there? Or maybe we killed them. Oh, there we go. Oh, there was a gate there. We just circumvented that completely. Okay. Okay. We don't have an upgrade advantage, but that's okay. We can have these dudes kill this foundry. It looks like it's just a foundry, and it's not a... I can Please tell me... You... Oh, okay. Unable to target. Okay, you guys come on down and attack these boats. One of you divert, just to check. Again, I'm trying to be super efficient here. Boats, D don't stop now. You gotta go. You gotta go. What you got? We're being oh, I thought they re I thought they rebuilt that stuff. I was gonna be really upset. You guys get up there and kill that. That was unfortunate, but I don't think there's anything else up there. Kill that foundry. See, I'm glad I checked. There and there. I'm on top of oh, okay. Um, what I should probably do is just build a worker and have that worker. Yeah, give him the splat. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Well, all the other units just go up there. Good splat. Good splat. One more round on this catapult. Then here, y you gotta, you gotta kill this dude. What are you doing? Okay, that one, and then up there. Now, I'm glad I checked. <laughs> I'm glad I checked. Make, just make more juggernauts, and I don't know if maybe building something else would be more efficient. I'm 
Well, I guess just move. Let's check in there. And then this shipyard, in theory, with the defending boats, should be the last thing. We found all the areas where there is oil. And we've just, we've wiped the map clean. We just gotta, like, fly around and see what there is. The only thing with the Zeppelins is if it flies over a ground unit that can't, uh, attack it, then we might miss that it exists. Alright, this isn't even building anymore, so I, I think this shipyard will be it. Have you noticed that shipyards just have such a huge amount of, uh, of HP? It takes a really long time to kill them, even with boats. Oh, we found something. Gotta clean that up. Gotta clean that up. Okay. I, when I glanced last, I was like, oh, we won and it's been 30 minutes. We're at 36 minutes now. That's okay. Just pointing out once again how things, uh... Things take a while to clean up, unfortunately, but that's all right. Genbu. This is your time to shine. What's, like, our fastest unit that we could make to clean this stuff up? Trying to keep an eye on the minimap down at the bottom as my Zeppelin flies around. I have a hundred, almost 123,000 gold stockpiled. These Genbu are so good, it's just they're slow, so I, I would, you know, I never had a production structure close enough. Okay, come on up there. This mission felt a lot easier than the last one. The last one is just, I think the enemy faction with the defenses they had were just, you know, they were massive. Ogre's here to save the day. Please don't get yourselves killed by the friendly fire. Will it end? I was very efficient. I really was. But at this point, the map is so large, I'm not really sure if I don't want to use a cheat. You got it. I'll get that mixed up. Don't rush me. Just to, you know, finish it up, let's make some gunboats because they're fast. I need these guys to go up the very left side. And I need these guys to go along the bottom. So, again, there's basically no fog of war left on the map. There's not a gray building that I'm, like, just barely missing, is there? It's it's probably a boat or a submarine, which is very unfortunate. Well, it's it's part of the game. We gotta do it. I feel, I feel good. I feel accomplished. But, <laughs> you know, here we are. We killed those blue units. Let's maybe check up here. That's... No, that's not the bridge we went across first. So maybe there's something down here. All my gold mines are collapsing. Go and check these... Oh, oh, we found it. Is it really just this one guy? Can three spearmen kill a knight? Oh, he's, he's like half dead, too. Perfect. Of course not. Um. What do you want? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If it's a, if it's a sub, then like I, I got nothing, you know. We killed the one on this side. We're the sub, complete. I should say. We're complete. We're complete. Yes. Sub, sub. It doesn't seem what like it would be... Gray. It's just blue had a bunch of pre-placed yes. stuff all around the map. So maybe it's We're related complete. to that? We're complete. Are you threatening me? 
Just flying around. Just looking around. I'm on top of all of the oil patches, so it's not a boat on the oil patches. Look, you, you, you can't blame me for this one. You, you, oh, wait, no. <laughs> I literally was about to cheat. No, okay. You, you, you just, you can't blame me for this one. I hope you don't. But it had to be done. There's no blue. It, it has to be a sub. No. Really? This one MFR -er right here? Okay. Master? I'm sorry, but like it that it had to be done. All right. At at the, at this point, if you are someone who could possibly have anything to say about using a vision sheet at this point, just get out. <laughs> just get out. Okay, it's still not over. It has to be I'm just looking at the mini map intently. I don't see any gray. I'll, I'll cut the footage and I'll look for a sub. Okay, I found it. Um, well, I'll start my little retrospective now. But, I mean, there's going to be a little ender ending cinematic as well as we learn from the human campaign. So we'll you know we'll talk a little now. We'll talk a little when it's over. But um, I assume this is the last unit. Um, the, my main piece of feedback is honestly that I think. The enhanced edition is great. It adds a lot of really fun changes. So like 99% of it, I'm, I think is fantastic. I do think that there is a missed opportunity to avoid situations like this. Leave it like this in classic, because that's how it was. But I, I think enhanced mode could do something. You know, I could sit here for an hour and brainstorm on the ways. But all I would say is something to make it so that I'm not spending 10 plus minutes, some cases, almost 30 minutes, just trying to hunt down individual units. Last mission, it made a little more sense because money was so tight uh, by the end of it. But this one, you know, I had uh, overfloweth with resources, right? Um, either make it so that subs don't count, make it so that remaining pre-placed bunches of units suicide, Honestly, I don't know. The land units aren't that big of a deal. It's almost always the Navy cleanup that's been a problem. Um, but yeah, that's that's my only major piece of critique, right? I could talk a little bit more about some of the mechanics that were introduced after we watched the cinematic. But, the, you know, the, the, the one gameplay feature, I think, specifically, that I think, again, it's it's more of just like it's a... It's an opportunity that could be acted upon if you're already making a completely separate game mode meant to introduce these things that make the game a lot more fun. There are these there are these all other gaps that still exist in the base game that could be acted upon, I should say. We didn't have access to dragons because Oh yeah, that's because we had the Genbu, which I barely made. Whoops. Guards. Guards. Victory pyres burn high into the twilight skies covering the ruined capital of Lordaeron. Your success has led Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes, to elevate you to the station of Warlord, thus giving you power and the command of your own clan. The Alliance has finally been crushed, with all those surviving being slain and cremated as is dictated by the rituals. At long last, Azeroth and all of its 
lands belong to the thunderous force known to those foolish enough to stand in its way as the Horde. That's a nice little shot there at the end. With all the different sub-factions as well. Alright, we let the credits play. Burning Blade wrecking havoc as usual. Uh, I felt like the orc... The orc sub-factions had a lot more personality than uh, the human ones. Uh, and I think that's just probably because the human ones were made first and then, you know, lessons learned... I don't know. Lessons learned sounds like I'm saying there were mistakes made. That's not true. I'm just saying, like, Lord Pendle II probably spent a lot of time making those sub-factions and then was like, oh, here's some other stuff that we can do to make them more interesting, and then the orc sub-factions were created. We'll let this go ahead and play. How's the Cosmodon operation proceeding? Just as smooth as anywhere else is present. Ever since the War Chief departed with the Blackrock Clan last month, the Blacktooth Grin is now the largest force in Azeroth. Third batch of troops to reinforce Black Rock Spire. Coverage still holding? The Warlord suspects nothing. Grim Batola is also unaware of the movements, thanks to our covert routes, while our allies in the north are keeping Kilrog busy with their stealth operations. Excellent. Just a little longer and the trap will be set. Soon the Eternal Night will fall. All right. Well, I guess that was the unique ending for Blacktooth Grin. Let's just make sure. It seems like things like seems like things are still happening. We have interclan politics. Jay Bruno's channel for being part of my inspiration. There's Laughing Skull. Thank you for the thank you, by the way. Wait, no. Bleeding Hollow. Bleeding Hollow. Is is Teal. Um, you know, I can talk about each of the factions a little bit. I'm just waiting to see if there's more cinematics as, as we go through here. Oh, okay. We're back to... Back to the Dark Portal. Ah! to be continued. Apparently there's a, quote, secret campaign. I guess it's not that secret because I just told you about it, but Lord Paranormal II has commented about it in uh, in common threads in the past. Um, and then I don't know if Beyond the Dark Portal's slated to be created either or not, but um, look, let me just run this down. The cinematics, really well done. All of the recreated cinematics that happen in between the acts and then at the... Uh, the ending cinematic and introduction are like faithful recreations of the old CG, so CG, put that lightly, the old animated uh, cinematics from Warcraft 2. They're really creatively remade and I really enjoy them. I think they're very, very strong. It just really immerses you with the music and it just, you see it and you're like, oh, that's that was the original, that was it, cool. Um, like when the orcs go in and kill King Terranus there at the end and he goes, guards! Like, it's very, very, like, the shot for shot, very, very similar. Uh, very, very, uh, clever and creative. And there were a lot of other ones, they all just, like, kind of hit the mark. Um, again, the orc sub-factions all felt more creative than the humans. By extension, they also didn't feel as power balanced between each other. But neither did the humans per se either. It's hard to say. All the human factions felt pretty strong in their own way. Um, Lordaeron felt a bit underpowered, but overall, I think they all had, like, decent decent ability to kill the enemy. Whereas, I think, like, Bleeding Hollow in particular, like, yeah, they're sneaky, they've got some cool utility spells, but they just, they really fall flat, uh, as you saw, like, when we had to go against uh, Stromgard, who could just kill them outright. Um... I do think that, you know, Lord Paranold has been active in adjusting spells as necessary, like that 
triple attack speed, bloodlust, uh, and its, its interaction with spell steal, um, like the Lord and Paladin heal, stuff like that, where I think if they were given to the faction as is from Warcraft 2, they would be too good. Well, the triple attack speed wasn't in Warcraft uh, 2, but that was like the original bloodlust, right? Um, no, no, the original bloodlust tripled attack power. So never mind. But basically my point is the creator has been pretty active in trying to rebalance things. Um, again, I do think that Bleeding Hollow is pretty underpowered and possibly the hardest mission of the Orc campaign was um, Destruction of Stratholm. Or was it? No, no, no. The Fall of Stromgard, excuse me. Um, specifically because that matchup is quite difficult, right? We didn't have enough sneakiness to legitimately um, go up against just the flat out power of Red. Um, thankfully, when we broke into that base, they weren't really building out of their production structures, and that might have been a very purposeful, balanced choice, just because if they would have been recreating those knights, uh, we really didn't have a good counter to them, except, I guess, in Snare, which feels like more of a an unintended way to deal with them. I'm not so sure, because, again, I, it stops them from being able to attack. Anyway, um, I had a really nice time with both the human and the orc campaigns. I do think that I struggle a lot with these older maps. I really am never a fan of maps where you can be 40 minutes in and then you can casually lose because um, you run out of money even though you've overcome the biggest hurdles of the map. You know, see the Siege of Dalaran as an example of that. Um, that's just the nature of some of these older games. They can just... They creep up on you in almost like a boredom sense. I, I understand this sounds like this is insulting to, you know, the genre, but they, when you begin to get bored, you get sloppy, you're not as diligent, you start throwing units away, uh, combat in these older style games happens incredibly fast, and it's very easy to lose huge amounts of gold, lumber, supply, etc, etc, if you just A move, but the game kind of gets you into a mental position where you just want to finish it. You just want to get through it because you feel like, oh, I've destroyed their base. Surely all I have to do now is just move around the map and clean up. And then as you lose stuff and you hemorrhage units, um, again, you could still kind of lose. I'm not a huge fan of that. But what, you know, what I do like are creators like Lord Paranol II, who's coming back now in the future, recreating these things with different ways to either improve upon that or and or add like cool factions, add new spells. Just different ways to interact with a, an old gem like Warcraft 2. So thanks to the creator and thanks to you all. I appreciate it. You can leave your feedback below. I had a good time playing this, but for now, it's on to something new. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.